in this video I'm gonna show you how to add spinner to the component let me try to create a new company I'm gonna create new company here the name of the company is Linux let me add this city I'm gonna add some random address you can see that I did not have any routing yet I did not implement any routing I did not have any loader or spinner here let me show you how to implement it first of all I'm gonna create a new shared module you can also create a new module by using command line I'm gonna use webstorm magic here let me try to create a new module the name of the module is shared I will place all the shareable components in this shared module a shared module has created successfully in this module I'm gonna create a new shared component again I'm using angular CLI the name of the component is spinner open the materialized documentation in the component section you will find this preloader this is the spinner I am talking about this preloader let me copy this one red yeah this one now I'm gonna paste the HTML inside the spinner component dot HTML now how can you use this spinner component inside the app module shared module is a separate module how can you do it you can do it by exporting it I'm gonna export this component spinner component now I need to import the shared module now you can use all the directive components of the shared module inside the app module so where do I want to display let me open the company form component the first step I'm gonna create a new boolean property processing I'm gonna name it processing the data type is boolean and I'm gonna set to default properties false here I need to start this processing and after completing the companies then we need to stop the processing this start processing is equals to false now I need to show you how to display this spinner inside the company farm component I'm gonna open company form dot HTML company form component dot HTML here I need to display I am going to create a new div in this div will be a row and another div the class will be column and six here I'm gonna use app spinner component only display when processing is true only display when processing is true that's all you have to do let's give a shot from the browser let me try to create new company I'm gonna create a new company next company enter the city and the address should be I'm gonna add some random address ah you can see that but spinner has added successfully now let me add the routing whenever I save the company I want to navigate to the company's route how can you do it I need to use the router
router class this is a class from the angular router module this router has a navigate method i need to use this method this dot router dot navigate it will accept a commands you can pass strings or array i will choose array i want to go to the company's route let's give a shot try to create a new company i need to name of the company should be app company any company and the address aha you can see that we have successfully created company and successfully added the routing let me show you how does this work i'm going to open the documentation if you will search the router class router is a class there is a navigate method here it will accept the commands you can see that when the promise has been resolved it will return the boolean value this is how you can use it i have shown you how to use that uh huh if you want to see the source code let me click on the source code this is a router class and you can find the navigate method here uh huh here is a navigate method navigate it accepts the command extra these are all i don't i'm not interested in these properties you can see that the return type is promise with boolean value and it is using complex algorithm here create method and then navigate by url when i click on the cancel button i want to navigate to the company's route and reset the form how can you do it first of all i'm going to create a cancel method cancel same process navigate to the company's route L first of all let me reset the form company form has a reset method i'm going to call this one that's all you have to do now i'm going to use click binding I'm going to call cancel I think it everything works fine let me try to do that random company random string random address blah 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 aha it's working fine 